Thank you so much for being here. I did have a question that many people in the chat have asked. And again, if you're comfortable answering it, that's fine. If not, that's okay. But people wanted to know about the the uh, legendary uh, country album in 1970. Would you when's care it, to talk when's a little it coming bit about out? That? When's it coming out, Fred? Uh, we want to hear is it. Was well, it really called Cow Cows of the Pasture? No, that was something that I think Carl said it in a Rolling Stone interview. It, there wasn't a title. It never even was finished. That We did the track. Mm -hmm. We did 10 or 12 songs. You know, great musicians. James Burton is on it. Um, you know, uh, uh, Buddy Emmons is on it. Uh, J.D. Uh, uh, Manis, one of the original Buckaroos, is on it. Uh, Gordon Terry, great fiddle player, is on it. Um, uh, shoot, who else have we got? Uh, Dennis St. John, who was uh, uh, Neil Diamond's drummer and, and music director, is on it. Mm -hmm. uh, Glenn Harden, who was with Elvis, is on it. Um, Roy Wooten, a great West Coast bass player, electric bass player, is on it. Freddie Weller's on rhythm guitar. I mean, there's some, you know, Gib Gilbo is on uh, bottleneck uh, electric guitar. I mean, we've got the, some great musicians, you know, several mm -hmm. of them are wrecking crew. But um, we just got the tracks done. And then, you know, Brian just kind of lost interest in it. And I have the tapes and I converted them over to uh, from 16 track two inch to uh, Pro Tools so I could work on it. And we we finished one song. Um, mm -hmm. uh you know, all for the love of a girl, which was a Johnny Horton song, mm -hmm. and, and and it came out good. I, I added some strings. A friend of mine here is a string player. Um, you know, did uh, you know did some string parts. I I did a Jordan Ayres type of a background vocal uh, to kind of represent that 1969 uh, 70 cool. era when we recorded That's awesome. it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, you know, but all the other songs are, are incomplete. I mean, I'd have to do. Some of the vocals I'd have to re-sing. I'd have to do some punches. Uh, uh, obviously, I'd have to do some pitch, you know, mod you know, modulation and stuff. Uh, I'd have to do some additional instrumental parts, and they'd have to be mixed, you know, and that costs money. And there's a label that I know a lot of your Beach Boy fans are familiar with called Sunday's Records, mm -hmm. uh, Bob Irwin. I don't know you guys. Uh, they've done an album on, you know, on Billy's group. Um, you know, Desi and Billy, they've done a, a bunch of compilation albums. And I've talked to Bob and I've talked to one of his guys and they would love to put it out, but it's not. Let's done, do it. There's no there's no funding. And, you know, we would so, love to hear it. Fred. We'll we fund it. Well, Fred, I'd, we'll I'd, fund I'd, it. I'd love to do it. But if somebody wants to do a GoFundMe or you fund me or done. whatever, we'll do it. I need, about, I need about 30 grand to finish it. And I, <laughs> done. I don't Matt, have, I we're doing have it. That, Deep of the pocket right now. Okay, Fred. So. Hey, hey, leave it to us. So we got two things we need to do, Fred. Number one is we need to get that book out. So we're gonna we're, we'll do that. We're gonna we're gonna push you to do that. And two, we will raise thirty thousand dollars to get uh, get cows in the pasture going. And I'll. Uh, I think there's a lot of yeah. a lot of fans that. Right, it's not gonna be called. Sorry, not cows in the pasture. That's not what it's called. 